Hi, today I bought my first dragon fruit. This is what it looks like. It's a bit small, pink in colour, and it's ripe. I'm going to show you how to cut it and cost as well. So the easiest way to remove the skin is just kind of peel it off after cutting a few slices. And it comes off nearly in one motion. Great stuff. It's very delicate in flavour. Kind of, you can taste the seeds, but it's not harsh and super fruity. As you have just seen, I eat the dragon fruit in its forest form just straight up, but you can also use it in smoothies, put it in a salad, or any kind of fruit kebab. They're great for that. I was quite blown away by the flavour, it's nothing like I've ever experienced. But what is it exactly? Well, if you ever had like honeydew melon, it's similar to that with a slight taste of poppy seeds and a bit of kiwi. It's slightly sweet and it's gorgeous. I absolutely love this. But why would you spend 5 70 on a dragon fruit? Well, there are 6 benefits that are always listed online. Firstly, it aids in digestion. If you're a constipator or anything like that, it just helps flush everything out, partly because it has a high water content. Then, this is, it. This is what people know it for most. It boosts your immune system, it just makes you stronger on the inside, which aids in reducing your risk of cancer. It helps to improve your cardiovascular system, so that's your lungs and your breathing capacity. And it kind of bumps up your metabolism in your body, which is superb. It also has antibacterial properties, and these aid in making your body nice and healthy. Lastly, what are the macros of this? Well, have a look on screen now.